the last episode of this opening. We're going to get a new one next episode. I'm guessing we might set up something in this next little arc that we're about to get. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 51. This one's called uh, Proof of Rightness. Maybe the Black Bulls back at the base are going to have some little competition and somebody's going to have to be proven right. I'm assuming this is going to be a fun episode because we finally just got let off that crazy roller coaster. But I assume it's also going to set up some stuff for the future. So I am all here for it. I am ready. The last episode that the ending of the underwater temple arc was amazing. I am so ready for what's to come next. Now, before we get into this episode, I just want to let you guys know real quick with normal shows that we do, the first and last episode of every season of every show we watch is available. The full length, which is only normally available on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. This one doesn't have really seasons, obviously, so we do it with the openings. So, since this is the last episode of this opening, the full length, which is normally available on Patreon, is down below. Click that link if you guys enjoy that consider keeping it that format for the future check out that patreon it's, it's an enjoyable time it really is uh let's hop right on into this though black clover episode 51 proof of rightness <laughs> i completely forgot too i feel so bad i love gordon you guys are so mean i can't believe you left me behind i wanted to go too oh i feel so bad I know, he just wants friends. He's so considerate. He has his little pretend friends, little rocks. Everyone's disappointed. Yes, Austin needs to see my boy Julius. Damn it. Yes, that is true. Because the whole captain's meeting. Awesome. Awesome. My boy Nero. <sighs> See, I want this to be brought up so bad. Saucy Village, that was the name of it, though. I remember that. Wow. I still am amazed by that binding magic. That's amazing. Fantastic. He just picks her up. Really? Oh, I thought. I didn't even know people died. Well, RIP to those magic knights. So even he got not ridiculed but questioned heavily for making uh, Yami a captain because he's not a part of their kingdom. He's a foreigner, but obviously he he believes in Yami. They've known each other since they were you know young. Hell yeah. And he's doing it. He's proving it. That's what you want to do to people who have faith in you when no one else does. You just want to prove them right, you know? And that's true. Same thing with Asta, man. With ya oh, I love that correlation between them. That trickled down. Crazy. Asta's insane, man. <laughs> that is so Asta. Oh, 
<laughs> Mushroom head. His name is Marks, right? Yeah. <sighs> what was the name of the city? Kitten? Kitten? Not what I was expecting at all. At all. Like, at all. They have three main ones in front, it looks like. Oh, is that Lars? Or not Lars. I said Lars, Mars. Lotus. I combined their names. Lagus, Brox, and Yagos. We have the eight shining. Eight strongest from the Diamond Kingdom. Eight shining generals, so they're like the squad cap. Okay. Kitten. We have lightning magic too. So they got info on that. They made their move. Makes a lot of sense. Got the magical barrier. He looks so strong. Lightning. Ooh, I love it. Lightning creation magic. Thunderbird, warrior, and air splitting magic bow. That looks so strong. And it's piercing right through. Air splitting, magic bow, whatever. Thunder bow, lightning bow. This shit's fucking crazy. Wow, they actually have a gen, an actual strategy. They're going into this very smart. With low, this is actually a very smart invasion. And then he just charges right in. Red clay creation, raging great boar charge. Red clay. Let's say, is it ending the episode right here? No. Golden Dawns. We get to find. Oh, I can't wait to see all of them in action. Was that, uh, Langris? You know, and Sylph? I get to see the strength of the Golden Dawns all in action. We know you know is nasty. Tornado Fang. That spirit magic is insane. You talk your shit. Bell? One of the four great nature spirits. So this is Sylph, but her name is Belle? I didn't even know she could talk. Well, that's not what I was expecting at all. My boy Klaus, Mimosa, helping out. Oh, there's so many names. I'm gonna forget a lot of them. That's the glass, yep. Ooh, Lotus. I knew I did recognize him earlier. I love me some Yami. 
My man. Aw, I appreciate anything. If you could do anything. I think that's the wiser play. Okay, Charmy, I see you out here standing up for your your underling. How did I not put two and two together? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. That's uh, Finral's brother right there. Captain and, and Vice Captain Langris and fucking Sir William. What magic does he have? Is it good? Bro, I hate. Kit. Uh. I definitely assumed this would be more of a slow episode and we wouldn't have a fucking invasion from the Diamond Kingdom. I didn't expect that at all, but oh my lord. We got to see uh, Lagos or Lagos, Yagos, and then Brox. We also get to see Lotus again. I do miss him, his interesting smoke magic ass. Um, I wonder if we're going to see Mars, because the only reason I say that is because I know Mars has the diamond like embedded into his head to make him more magically powerful. But I also saw Brox had like a, a headpiece. It didn't look like it, was, like it was embedded. Maybe he's just wearing that for decoration to represent his uh, his country but i was just wondering that because his red clay creation magic is interesting we have lightning i love lightning in any video game any anime ever so lightning all the way you guys know me killua that's my boy my favorite anime character of all time so you know and then we still haven't gotten to see what magic yagos has but he's flying on a cloud so i'm curious is it similar to smoke where it's like lotus or is it similar to wind where it's like you know but you know popped off I, I swear if you guys can, can uh if you guys can clarify this for me i'd appreciate that but i swear uh, julius called the wind spirit sylph and then it said bell in this episode is bell her name is sylph her name is sylph like an ancient name she goes by just it, no obviously i don't think that's gonna be a spoiler if you guys if it is don't don't let me know but uh if it's not please just clarify that for me i love the attack i love some of the fighting uh, like I said, I love lightning magic and seeing how different this lightning magic user can be from someone like Luck. Uh, I love, oh my god, the Golden Dawn, seeing everyone pop off. We get to see a, a little tidbit of William's magic at the end. So curious about what's going on there. Yami said he has, he worries a little bit about William. But see, I'm, I'm curious. Because we still don't know which captain Raya transformed to at the captain's meeting. I assume it's one of the big ones. It's not the one who got captured, who was a part of the Purple Orcas, right? I would either, I don't think it's Jack the Ripper because he was acting super Jack the Ripper. Was it William? And if it was, I doubt it's William now. I'm so curious, you know, it just get, it has me asking so many questions, but I'm so curious because Yami said he wants to look into it too. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on this video. I cannot wait to hop into this next arc, hop into this next opening. You guys know the drill. Love the show. Love you guys as well. Check out Patreon if you guys want early access full length. I appreciate y'all. Have a fantastic day. Peace out.